uh, welcome back. Knicks lose again. <laughs> I feel like I'm saying after every game, Knicks lose again. Uh, 125-109 against Philly. First thing first, Philadelphia is going to be a problem. They are going to be a problem. I mean, those, especially Embiid, Harden, and then you've seen a lot. Matisse Thybul, actually, especially in the fourth quarter, you you, you would see Matisse Thybul saying on ball screens for James Harden, Matisse Thybul is not going to hurt you outside. Outside, like he's not going to beat you. Defensively, he's pro he's probably the best. He's up there as one of the best defenders in the, the league on ball. But offensively, he's not going to be an issue. But him cutting, stuff like that, man, it's going to be just stupendous. James Harden, James Harden finished with a triple double, 29, 16, 10, and B had 27 fucking free throws. I mean, every time they went inside, it was a free throw. Dude shot 44 free throws. Uh, Mitch and Jericho Sims both fell out. I was very, very impressed with Jericho Sims. Yes, he didn't score. But I was very, very impressed with Jericho Sims. I already knew those two were going to have an issue with, with Embiid. It is what it is. Um, yeah, you know, Philly shot 10 free throws, but it wasn't even four minutes in the game. So I already knew what type of game it was. But, but going back to Sims, Sims did have some pretty good defensive possessions on on Joel Embiid. But it's Embiid. Um... Then the Knicks went 7 for 14 the first quarter. From the free throw line. R Random missed 5. RJ missed 4. Uh, Alec Burks again with no assists. Dude, dude's our starting point guard. And dude, when's the last time he had more than 5 assists? Can somebody please tell me, what do we see at Alec Burks at point guard? I know Tib says the numbers, stuff like that. Listen, I checked the numbers. Sure, maybe. But I'm majoring in sport analytics, my grad program. Stat watching and watching the game are two completely different things. If you watch the game, just watch the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just watch the game. <sighs> um, Randall struggled again tonight. Four for thirteen. I've said a lot of times regarding Julius Randle, he shoots a not. He a lot of his shots are just not good shots. It's it's just what it is. A lot of his shots are just not good shots. That first quarter is probably the longest quarter I've ever been in. Uh, Knicks kept it close, and then fourth quarter, you know they got scored by fourteen. They lose. Um, it's another game. Team scoring at least over hundred to you know, over hundred fifteen against the Knicks. Um. Thought Mel quickly was really good second half. Kind of what kind of what we seen. It was a glimpse of what we saw last year, attacking the rim, stuff like that. So it's good to see quickly playing. Uh good to see Cam playing, but the minute Cam got taken out, shit went left. Listen, I'm not gonna say Cam was great, but the minute Cam went out the game, shit went left. Um good to see RJ 9 for 22. Not really shooting wise wasn't great, 24 points. Fournier thought he was solid today. Uh Fournier's been good the last couple months. Um, no OB, no. But, yeah, let's keep playing Alec Burks, who isn't a point guard, doesn't give you any type of assist instead of Deuce McBride. Um, <laughs> but we are starting to see some new different lineups. We are starting to see younger players play. We did see Jewish Randall and Obi Toppin in the game off. Um, that's really it. It's another loss. Got a hard schedule, man. Uh, we're not making a plan. I'm pretty accepted of that. So, just checking and see if there's anything else. Nope, not really. Um, give credit to Philly. Hard MB is going to go crazy, especially in that pick and roll. Absolutely outstanding how bad it was being as the pick and roll. And yeah, without further ado, that was really it. We will see you guys later.